Good morning and welcome. Today I'm doing another foundation review. I hope you don't mind me doing that again. And today I am going to review the Clinique Super Balance Silk Foundation. Hope you can see that. So, what does it look like? It looks like this. Comes in a nice glass bottle, like that, frosted bottle. Hasn't got a pump, which is always a downer for me. So I'm going to have to buy a pump from somewhere. I did buy one for what I bought for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I bought an airless pump bottle from Amazon. So I can either do that or I can um, go to the Mac shop and use one of their pumps because I understand that it does fit this bottle. So the colour I bought it in is in Silk Brandy. All the colours have got, uh, I've got the word silk in front of them. So what is this product? So I'm reading this off my mobile. It comes in a vast range of colours, as you can see, which is good. And it says that um, slip-on silk enriched foundation, fill naked yet covered to perfection. Control oil, yet hydrate where needed. Protect with SPF, oil free. Sheer to moderate coverage, natural matte finish, ideal for dry combination to oily skin types. How to use, apply after using your three step skincare system. Start with a small amount in the center of the face. Blend outwards with a foundation brush or fingertips. Blend well and build coverage as needed. There you go. Right, so the it comes in one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty shades. And as I said, I've got silk brandy, if I can find the colour here. There you go. I've got silk brandy. So there's about four or five shades for darker skinned women of colour or darker skinned men. Okay, so that's good. That's just a good range of colours. Okay, so I'm going to try this today. I've already moisturised my skin and um, primed my face. I use the hourglass veil because I have got super oily skin. I'll always, always prime my face with a, with a uh, primer that claims to manage matte um gives me a matte condition the foundation the primers i use tend to be uh makeup forever step one um i use the becca uh, matte primer and i have also got a sample of the hourglass veil primer so because this product says that it's okay for dry to normal i don't know how how matte it's going to give me so i'm going to use the most powerful um, matte primer I've got and that's the hourglass veil primer so I've, I've used that on my face today so it might have a slight purple hue okay so let's try this so I'm going to shake it and I'm going to pour some on the back of my hand see if it comes out okay so it's Let's have a look at that. It seems to be quite thick, and that's the colour. I don't know if that's enough. So that's how it looks. It looks like it's got a slight red undertone, which is never a good thing. Um, but most foundations do have a red undertone. Um, I rather like more um, yellow, olive, neutral undertones. But let's see how this applies. I'm going to use, what am I going to use today? I am going to use, I didn't put a foundation stick out, let's pause this. I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush. As always, I always spray the brush with the Elegal Pro Setting Spray Matte Finish. And let's see how this applies. Okay, so I've just dabbed what I had on the back of my hand on my face. I'm just going to put one layer on. 
I'm assuming because they said it's um, a light to medium coverage that it's not going to be um, very heavy. Blends very easily. Oh, look. So that first layer, it just improves my skin tone, but it's not really much coverage. So I'm going to apply another layer on. So let's pull some more on. I'm definitely going to have to get a pump. It's quite hard to come out of the bottle. And I can't be dealing with this every morning. Right. Right, hopefully that's enough. So let's do that again. Okay, it's looking okay. It's blending okay. It's working into my neck, so it's matching my my neck and my chest. Okay, so looking at the coverage, I'm seeing, I can still see sort of some of my hyperpigmentation under my eye area there, and some of my little moles around my nose. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more just around the sides here and on my forehead, and then see, and I think we'll call it a day after that. Okay. Right. I want to concentrate on my forehead because my forehead tends to be where the foundation tends to rub off the most. Um, because of my job, I do have to wear a hat when I'm out doing inspections. So the hat does rub off a bit. So I tend to um, concentrate foundation a bit more up there. So that's how it looks. I would say that is a very natural finish. What do you think? Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll we'll test it. So the time now for application is 8.30 in the morning. Let's show you on my, I don't know if you can see that, 8.38. Okay, so we will test this foundation out during the day and I'll come back about five o'clock this evening just to see how the foundation looks afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to finish my makeup now. See you in a bit.
Hi, this is a, a first update. Time now is two minutes past two. I don't know if you can see that on my Fitbit. Two minutes past two. Okay, and this is my makeup at the moment. So I've been wearing this for about four hours, six hours so far, nearly six hours. So at the moment, it's still looking okay. A little bit of shine coming through around my nose. Yep, around my nose area. Um, starting to fade a little bit on my forehead. Yeah, coverage isn't, yeah, it's starting to fade a little bit actually, I would say. Um, you can still see my blush just about. So, yeah, starting to fade a bit, I would say. Um, I'll probably do another update again in about three hours. Okay, see you later. Bye. Good evening. So this is my final review update of this foundation today. So I'm actually going to do the final update review of this foundation. It's the Clinique Super Balance Silk Foundation. I got it in colour Silk Brandy, which looks like this. So I put this foundation on today. Um, it was about just after eight o'clock. It was about eight. 28.30 this morning and the time now is five, nearly 5.20 so that's the time on my Fitbit there. Oh, right, okay. So I've been wearing it for what, eight hours? Well, oh, nearly nine hours. What am I talking about? So it's nearly nine hours I've been wearing this for. So today I've been doing my normal work day. I've been walking around. I went into, I expected one kitchen which wasn't too hot so I've admit that. Um, I've um, been just been doing some cooking, so just been some steam generated there. Weather today isn't too hot and humid in this country, so temperature at the moment is about 19 degrees centigrade. It's a nice autumn day. It's cloudy, it's drizzly, it's cool, which is fine for me because I'm going through my flushes at the moment, so perfect weather for me. So the foundation, as you can see, if you can have a look, it has a, it's worn away a little bit during the day, so it's faded a little bit, but it's been an even fade. It has, it's not in patchy, patchy bits all over my face. Um, it's still on my face. You can still see a little bit of the blush and a little bit of the highlight and contour on my face. It hasn't faded too much on my forehead, which is usually where it fades the most. Around my nose, um, it's not too bad. It's natural sort of oily. It's not really overly oily or not overly oily for me. Um, I have got super oily skin. So for some people, this might be too much, but for me, this is okay. The finish of the foundation has been actually really good all day. It hasn't given that heavy matte look, the cakey look, um, which you get with some of the long wearing um, matte foundations. This has been a very natural finish all day. So you know, it's been very light. It feels like skin. I haven't been aware that I've been wearing foundation at all. And actually, I've actually forgotten sometimes. And I've you know, been touching my face because I'm a very handy person when I talk. And I have touched my, my face a few times. And I've realised there's been a little bit transfer not too much but usually when I've been touching paper documents I can see a little bit of the, the handprints on, on the paper work but it's not too bad so it's one of those foundations especially for wearing darker colors don't get too up and personal to anybody wearing white clothing just just you know, letting you know but overall I'd say this foundation has been really good I'm really happy with it good performance fantastic price 23 pounds which is good so you know you can wear it as an everyday foundation you know it's going to be reliable you know it's going to last all day all good so for color shades and selection i would give a uh, clinique i would give them say an eight eight and a half because no, they've got a good range of colors they can still do a bit more colors for um for darker skinned people because there's still a lot more colors um in the in the light and the medium color range and not so much in the dark skins and they, I, they could probably think about the undertones a bit more i still think it's a little bit red but i'm not going to complain because the color's okay it works well with me so for color selection i'd give an eight and a half for oil breakthrough um it's actually controlled my oils quite well. I've only blotted once today, which is really good for me. And again, for an eight, nine hour day, it's not bad. Um, as I said, it's not a hot day, but blotting once is not bad. And I blotted, um, well, it was just after I did my um, second catch-up. So that was about two o'clock. 
so that's not bad and just for general performance I think I'm going to give this like a nine I mean that's a pretty good score for me because it is it's, it's an even wear on my face so it has faded I didn't build up my coverage this morning when I applied it because I don't like putting lots of foundation on but it has lasted um, it's still intact you can see the blush and the contours and everything on my face still so I'm actually quite pleased with the performance so would I recommend this foundation yes I would especially at £23. You can't really complain about that. So this foundation is definitely a go for me. Um, I can see myself buying it again as a, as a good everyday foundation. So well done, Clinique. Okay, so that's me done. If you've enjoyed this uh, review of the Clinique's Silk Balance Foundation, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe if you have any comments about this or there's any other foundations you'd like me to review please let me know in the comments below and i'll see you soon i'm thinking that my next foundation review is going to be the dior forever skin i think it's called or dior skin forever i think it's called because i bought that recently and i haven't really worn it so it's time to test that out okay so i'll see you soon take care bye